Let's do this. Let's uh, let's plus one. I mean, let's give seven counters to Boo. Let's just swing like this. One. Uh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and then we will take the Sigarda. He had a chance to block. I gave him a chance to block. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's into Genome here. Thanks for sticking with me these last few weeks, man. Probably the longest time I haven't uploaded a video. So it's been a adjustment period, to say the least, especially with everything going on in my life. But uh, we're back, and today we're gonna be checking out the boy that was banned in 1v1 Commander. He's really strong, and I didn't realize it until I went up against a Mexican Boo deck, and uh, he absolutely shredded me. So you really just wanna put real good stuff in here. Things that ping your opponent. Black Labor Fours is a really great card for the deck because Boo is actually a legendary hamster so you can equip black wave reforge for three mana onto the boo and just make him super huge not only that but if you sacrifice him he just draws you a ton of cards and then the rest of the deck is protection spells removal spells draw spells and a couple of my favorite cards that you guys might have seen in one of my top 10 videos like chaos Balor and Uthgard fury so um the deck is pretty strong and i'm really looking forward to showing you guys how strong it is so if you guys like the channel please consider subscribing we're on the road to 1.5k and i really appreciate you all you guys you know give me the support throughout these last few weeks so with that let's get into the deck and uh let's see how the deck does shall we all right we're up against tasha unholy archmage and we're back we're gonna keep this hand i think this is a pretty good hand we're back man um it's been it's been about two weeks almost uh i'm here with my kid my newborn it's about a week and a couple of days old at this point so if you guys hear some noises in the background, pay no mind to him. Uh, it's just him. I'm holding him as I'm recording this. Because he's being a little stubborn and doesn't want to go to sleep. And as I'm talking, he's just with his eyes wide open. So, um, Yeah, we're playing Menskin Boo, which is really cool. Uh, Menskin Boo is really powerful. Oh, Swan Song. Very interesting, okay. So he probably has uh, a couple removal spells in his hand. Counter spells, removal spells, things like that. Weird that he plays Swan Song in a Tasha deck, though. But I guess it's not bad because when we attack, the 2-2 uh, two -two does end up getting made into a 1-1 one -one at that point. So it's not too bad, I guess. If we attack with the bird and we do Royal Eruption, that's only four damage. So we're not gonna do that. We could Royal Eruption. I mean, we I guess we could. That way he can't minus two. And then he, that way he can't counter the Royal Eruption. Yeah, I think that's the play as much as I, as much as I don't wanna give him this uh, satisfaction. We're putting a counter on our creature. While he has no mana up, I'd rather just do this at you know this point. Switch, right? I'd rather him not be able to counter it, and then now we have to worry about a minus six. We got some pretty strong, uh, some pretty strong stuff in our deck. So has the plus one Tasha, of course. Could Karns Bastion for four mana, but that just wastes a turn. Time warp, okay. Just draws a just draws extra card, I guess. Puts a counter onto his Tasha. Keep your distance, Narset. No and he still leaves mana open for a removal spell here. Which sucks for us. Um because he's probably gonna kill this boo that comes down, unfortunately. Um, but I guess we have to try though. So. Let's hit the Tasha. Just, let's kill it. And then he'll either have to play Tasha and just waste his whole turn playing Tasha. Or he's forced to do something here. Because Narset. Is just gonna shut us down by drawing cards, which we we need to. But I mean, he's he's gonna minus two Narset, so now we have a really good chance of uh ah uh, he just drew that the hero's downfall. That's that's a really good card to draw. But 
what we can do here is play the Black Blade Reforged and then equip the Boo with it. I'm not, I'm not too worried because he's gonna, if Boo starts becoming a threat, he's just killing a token, which is gonna mean that there's no creatures in our graveyard for him to go steal with the Tasha, so. Um, everything is working out pretty good, actually. We can swing these three at Narset and then swing this Black Blade Reforged at, uh, at, we can swing this, uh, Boo with the Black Blade Reforged at his, uh, face. So now he's going to be forced to do something. He might have an unsummon. And then we swing that there. And let's see what he does. Okay. So far, so good. Tasha decks have a hard time against token decks. They have a hard time against Super Friends decks. Um, it is a glaring weakness, to be honest. But we shall see what happens here. He does have the mana for mass manipulation. If he was running that. He can't minus two because there's nothing in our graveyard to steal. So he can just plus one, which I'm not going to do much for you. Unless you get rid of Boo here. Three mana up. Let's see what he does. We could play Menskin Boo and then attack and then minus two and then we win. But it just depends on what he has, right? So let's swing at him. Let's make him make a move. Yeah, we're not going to swing at um, Tasha because everything will get a minus one, minus one counter. So we'll attack eight to face. Fatal push, yep. Okay. So then what we do here is uh, we'll play the Uthgart Fury. Dealing the four damage to Tasha. And we can't. My baby dropped his pacifier. One sec, guys. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah, we're gonna end the turn. Two cards. Two cards in hand. And my baby just dropped his pacifier again. Okay. Give it your best shot, adventurers. Memory Deluge. Fought with five mana up. That's pretty good. Gives him two cards. Gets the flashback. Wonder what he gets here. Oh, you're okay. Sorry if you hear the baby guys. <laughs> uh, let's play Minskin Boo. Let's see what happens. I mean, that's all we. I I I, I don't want him to kill the Escape to Wilds. Spell Pierce. Yeah, Spell Pierce is good, and we can't attack. So, yeah, he's 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 got us on the ropes now. He can Memory Deluge next turn for 7 mana, dig 7 deep. Cling to Dust, okay, so he draws an extra card there. One sec guys, gonna go wash off the baby's pacifier. Don't come any closer. So he duressed, got rid of the escape to the wilds. So that's bad. Maybe we should have used escape to the wilds. Uh, we could equip the black blade reforged now. That's gonna waste all our mana. That's the only thing we have to do though. Debating if I want to kill the Tasha, if I want to kill the, if I want to swing face. Tasha's pretty damn annoying, to be honest. Let's just swing face. He does have the cling to dust, which he can gain three life. But he's gonna have to do something about this, uh, this token here. All right, so he gets rid of our bird. He can cling to dust for four mana. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. this. Is all we have to do. He blows up the fervent champion. That's that's it, man. That's all. We, that's all we have. He's gonna be one life. 
Oh no, he just blocks with the shark typhoon. Oh, that that was a bad call. He should have cleaned the dust. Cause now we just do that and we win. Boom. Wow. What a good game. What a game there. Holy crap. Uh if he would have just got rid of our fervent champion, we would have lost. Because we were just kinda top decking at that point. Should have cleaned the dust. Gained a three life. Cause he he knows we don't have anything in hand. And then he has the uh, Professor Onyx, the Magecraft, to give him extra life as well. So he should have cleaned the dust. I would have done that. So that was a bad mistake by him. Okay, we're up against Ghost Shintai. They go first. Of course they go first, because they always go first. We need a fast start here. This is kind of slow. I mean, it's really good, but it's really slow, too. Once he gets four mana, he can counter the uh, block the Fervent Champion. Yeah, let's keep it. It's risky, but I think it's worth it. Got the Cabaretti Rebels. My one week old is just sitting here, just looking at the screen. Pretty sure babies can't see much of anything within like the first two weeks of being born. So I don't even know if he knows what he's looking at. Well, obviously he doesn't know what he's looking at, but it's pretty funny. He just has his eyes wide open just watching me play. And thanks to all you guys, man, for supporting me. You know, still throughout everything, it's been it's been a really it's been a rough transition to be honest. Getting used to waking up every three hours to feed the baby. I'm telling you now, man, if if you guys are thinking about having kids, if you're really not sure about the person you're with, don't have kids, man. And if you do want to have kids, have it with the right person. I'm fixing my baby's pacifier as we speak. Have it with the right person, man, because babies. Just, they are something, they are something else. They are a handful. If we had another snow land, we could, we could either, uh, I mean, we could frostbite, but that's not an option. So, Citizen Champion comes down, and that stops us in our tracks. Let's just play the Kenner's Transformation. I wanted to start doing some damage, but this is going to draw him a ton of cards. So it's either play the Kenner's Transformation on the Citizen Champion or play it on the Ghost Shintai. Both are really good targets to put the Transformation on. Plays the Ghost Shintai. And now we are in a pickle because Ghost Shintai is a 3-4. So here's what we'll do. Uh, we could Cabaretti Rebels. And then Frostbite the Citizen Champion, but let's wait to Frostbite since it's an instant. Faber Elder, okay. Kind of thinking about blowing that up, to be honest. It gives him, it gives him some mana. Oh, I, I, I wanted him to swing with the Goshentai, because we would have blocked and then I would have Frostbited it. But you know what, let's just take it. And then we're going to Frostbite the Fabro Elder. Um, let's do the... Island, and then let's... I mean, not the Island. What did I play? The Forest or Mountain? I don't even remember. Uh, let's do the Taroth, because we get the Copper Ready Rebels trigger. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, we can Blizzard Brawl the Goshentai. Yeah, let's see what he does. I mean, I, I could have Blizzard Brawl there, but he would have just played the, uh... Ah, well... Hopefully he doesn't get rid of the Taroth, because that is bad. Oh, okay, yeah, we got rid of the Taroth. Well, my game plan backfired. I didn't think he had a... Didn't think he had a way to deal with the Taroth, to be honest. So let's just play Minsk and Boo. We're gonna plus one the Boo. Now we're going to Blizzard Brawl. Make him waste a turn. Playing that. And we're going to swing. I'm willing to block everything here. I'm willing to block everything here with these two. So he could return our boo. Which that's totally fine. Let's get rid of the Hot Springs. Just because Anger of the Gods can get rid of these 1-1 Shrines of... We really need them to. And we could wipe the board here. To be honest. As 
So let's do that then, actually. Anger of the Gods. Swing, get four damage in. Alright, let's see what you got. That's a 6-6. Six, six. That's pretty scary. D spark. Yeah, that's gonna have to resolve, unfortunately. Nothing we can do. So now he costs seven. Plays the ooh, Sanctum of Calm Waters. Uh, we need an answer. We need an answer bad. Uh Helena and Helena. Got the cover ready rebels. That's not gonna do much. That is a reach though. That is a reach card, so that's good. Yeah, let's put it on them. When it attacks, defending player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard. Return that card to your hand. Okagachi gets plus X plus O until end of turn where X is the mana value. Defending player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard. So we're not choosing the d spark so we'll choose the Fabrile Elder. So he'll get a plus a 9 plus 6. I think he wants that, to be honest. Let's swing. We can't sit back here. We gotta keep the pressure on him. This is a good combo with the uh, the Sanctum of Calm Waters with the uh, Okagachi. Sorry if you guys hear my baby. Don't know if I mentioned that he's with me right now. Just kind of chilling. Alright. Jukai Naturalist. Okay. So we wait till he attacks. Then we'll kill the Jukai Naturalist. Wolf Willow Haven. Oh, Honden. So that's not too bad actually because we are we don't have a hand. So I'm not I'm not really worried about that. I am worried about the sanctum though. With both of these, this is gonna put us at a real disadvantage. So I'm actually glad that he attacked. Because now that leaves him open. And that is GG's. Good game. We got the Goshen tie. Okay, we're up against Sagarda. Human tribal, maybe? We got the Kim's Transformation, the Akroan War. All we need is a damn is a damn land. Uh let's keep it and let's hope for the best. Well that sucks we didn't have a green to play first turn. Hopefully we draw a land, we can play the Kami and then That's what I'm talking about. Play the Kami. You know, maybe I should have waited to channel this. That way I would have guaranteed my lands. But look at that. We don't need to because uh, we are just top decking our lands like a boss. So I hope you guys have been alright throughout the last couple weeks. My life has uh, certainly changed. <laughs> but, you know. It's all good, man. When you when you see him sleeping on your chest, and you know it's just it's a really good feeling, man. Feels really good. Let's play the Minskin Boo. We're gonna give some counters to our Boo, and we're gonna swing, baby. Get the Akron War if he drops the Sagarda, and we have the Camera's Transformation if he drops Sagarda. So we're in a pretty good spot, to be honest. Uh, when it attacks, if you control three more creatures with different powers, like the top five cards you your library. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Okay, let's play our land. Wow, we have drawn land every turn, I think. That's really good. Uh, what do we want to do here? We could a Crone War, Sagarda, and take it. Doesn't get haste, though, which is a shame. We could swing, have him block something, and then sack whatever... Well, he'll probably take out the boo, right? Very curious of what he would do here. Crone War, Rhythm of the Wild. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's plus one. I mean, let's give seven counters to boo. Let's just swing like this. One. Uh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and then we will take the Sagarda. He had a chance to block. I gave him a chance to block, but he did not block. Paladin class, everything gets plus two plus two. Three mana available. Alright, well, I mean, he's gonna have to attack next turn. 
Swings everything at us. Wow, not even the mints can boo. Really strange. Because we can just take this right now. Uh, so let's just do that. I mean, we win here anyway. We sack the boo, do, do uh, seven damage to him. Unless he has like a buff spell, but this is lethal. Take, he still takes four from that. So that that's lethal still, so. GG's, man. GG's. This deck is too fast sometimes. This is a little slow game, but damn, that was really good. Okay, we're up against Ishin. Uh, this is a pretty decent hand. I, it's kind of slow, but I like it. I like it because we have the Beanstalk Giant, so we can ramp up. Turn three. And we can go get a red source with the Beanstalk Giant as well, so we can play our... Uh, we can play our red spells here. If you guys hear my son, I'm recording with him, so sorry about that. All right, let's play this forest. Let's play the Chandra. And then we'll play the uh, Galia. Good way to get some board presence there. Oh, goats man. Oh, okay. Gonna hit our Chandra. Yep. Oh, look at that. We have our own goat span dragon. Okay, so we could Uthgart Fury the goat span dragon, or we could play our own. Um, you know what? Let's let's add red red. We're gonna Uthgart Fury, and we're gonna play Hellrider. Yeah, I like that. Do some damage. Get rid of the Goldsman Dragon. Because he would have played Ishin next turn, and then he would have made like two treasures. Getting a ton of mana. We still have the Lightning Bolt for Ishin. Oh, Ishin's a 3-4. I thought it was a 3-3. Well, it's my mistake. That's okay. Gets rid of the Chandra. Uh, we'll see. This is a tough one. Let's get rid of the lightning bolt. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll play the ghost man dragon. How do you like that, sir? He is in trouble now. Sack a creature, we'll sack the emissary. And that's game. GG's, man. Even without Minsk and Boo, we can do a lot of work. Okay, we're up against Narfi, Betrayer King, which I'm guessing is Zombie Tribal. Just because Narfi cares about zombies. And there's not enough snow creatures in the format to really make a difference. Let's keep this, I think, and... I think we'll be okay. We can play the Alasaur Shepherd. Then we'll play the Fervent Champion next turn hopefully we draw into some land oh opponent said none of that I guess he had counter spells and allosaur shepherd makes us uncounterable or green spells at least good game